Now we're not going to learn any C++ code today. We'll learn about it starting module one. We're going to learn plenty of C++ code, but today our purpose is to understand, to get your environment up and working. So you have everything working. So when we begin module one, you can code right away. So uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to type code, even though we're not sure what's happening or why it's happening. But it won't be very long. You'll understand all of it. So go to the hello world.cpp file, and right there's a comment that says your code here. And right underneath that, you can go ahead and type your code. So I'm going to tab in. And I'm going to type std colon colon c out and then and then two greater than signs. Okay? And this is and then in quotes put hello CS1410. World. W O R oops. world world exclamation point you need to put all of that in there and then put a backslash n and that's a carriage return and then go outside of the quotes and put a semicolon so the whole line is that std colon colon c out greater than greater than and then inside quotes Hello, CS1410, world, exclamation point, backslash n. All right, once you get that typed in there, that's great. Now, this is a function called hello world, and we're going to go into main.cpp, and we're going to call that function. And again, here's a note that says add your code here. So I'm simply going to go in there and add my code, and now we're going to call that function. And it's just going to be hello world. Now notice that the editor is helping me. As soon as I start typing it, it comes up and said, ooh, maybe you're wanting to type this. And if so, then I can just tab and it'll type that for me. And that way it just helps me, right? It gives me options of what I'm going to do. It helps me. I don't make a spelling error if I use what the, what the editor tells me because the editor says, oh, I can find these. Now you can pick the wrong thing. Notice there I only had one option and that's what I wanted to do. And all I did was put the name of the function, an open parenthesis, a closed parenthesis, and a semicolon. All right, so now I've typed in all the code I need to type and you have typed in all the code you need to type, right? If you type those two lines, then you're set. The next thing we want to do is run the program and to see how it works. So we can either build or run. This little hammer right here is where we can build. There's also menu options you can use, but these are really handy. So this little hammer builds a project and the arrow runs one. Well, the arrow builds and then runs, so I usually just use the run when I'm ready. Uh, another thing I wanna do is I wanna pick from my list of what I'm going to be running. And in this case, I want to be running the main.cpp. And so I'm going to find that and then I'm going to click that run arrow. That's the run and it's specifically going to run main. And that's what we want to do. And now you see it down here. It's building and linking and building and linking. And then it comes up and what does it do? It prints out just what we typed. Hello, CS 1410 world. Yahoo. That's what we wanted it to build and run.